Yo guys, in this video I'm going to be giving you all the best PC optimization guide for Fortnite Chapter 6 Season 1. If you complete all the optimizations in this video, it will guarantee you higher FPS, lower input delay and lower ping. And if you do find this video helpful, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. And if you need any help, join my Discord, the link will be in the description where you can ask any questions or DM me if you need any help. But without further ado, let's get into optimizing our PC so we can get the maximum performance possible. So the first thing we're going to be optimizing is our Fortnite settings. So if you just open those up, first of all, make sure you're playing on full screen mode. I'm playing on windowed full screen mode right now just for the sake of this video so it's easier to record. Next, you're going to go over to the third option and turn off text chat here. You don't want this on because if you get messages when you're in game, it can slow down your game, resulting in higher ping. Next, you're going to go to the fourth option, making sure you're playing on the right region. Make sure you're not playing on auto region because this can connect you to different servers and some servers could be higher in ping. So if you just connect to your normal region, this will give you the lowest ping in game. Then you're going to scroll down to the very bottom where it says energy saving and making sure all these three energy saving options are turned off. Once you've applied these, just click apply and you can exit out of your Fortnite settings. So the first thing we're going to be doing inside Windows is just optimizing a few general Windows settings. So if you click Windows I on your keyboard and click on System on the left, we're going to be changing a few things inside here. So the first thing we're going to be doing is clicking on Notifications and making sure these are turned off. This just allows Windows to not send any notifications through so you're not getting anything in the background that's slowing down your game. After this you're going to go back to System, scroll down until you see Storage, and here where it says temporary files, you can click on here and clear any temporary files that you don't want. So as you can see, there is a few of these temporary files I don't need. So I'm just going to click remove files and it's going to clear up the space that I don't need on my disk. After these have done clearing, you'll have some extra space available on your drive and this can result in less lag in game. Now we're going to be going back to system, scrolling all the way down until you see about and then inside here you're just going to click advanced system settings, it'll bring up this box and on performance you're going to click settings here to bring up this box. And inside here you're just going to click adjust for best performance, custom and you're going to enable animations in the taskbar, show thumbnails instead of icons and smooth edges of screen fonts. Once you've done that, click apply and these are all the advanced system settings we need to do. And once you finish this, you just need to come down to Windows Update here and check for any updates that need to be done on your PC. And if there is updates, you just need to install them and restart. If you leave uninstalled updates on your PC, it does have chances of crashing in game and having really bad freezing. So I would recommend installing all the updates so this doesn't have a chance of happening. Now, once you've done that, all of the general Windows settings are optimized and we're going to be moving on to the Nvidia tweaks. So to do the Nvidia tweaks, we're just going to be opening up the Nvidia control panel and letting this open. And once we're inside here, you're just going to be going up to the top left where it says adjust image settings with preview. And on here, you're going to click the bottom option and drag this bar all the way down to performance. Then click the middle bar and then click apply. This just allows your game to prioritize performance over quality. Now we're going to be going down to manage 3D settings underneath the top option and just copy all of my settings inside here. These are the best possible settings that you can use because it gives you the highest performance in game and the lowest input delay. Another great optimization we can do inside the Nvidia control panel is if you come over to program settings here, click add, browse, this PC, local disk C, windows, scroll down until you see explorer and open it. I have mine here so I'm not going to add it again but when it's in here you're going to scroll down until you see power management mode and set this to prefer maximum performance. Now once you've done this just come on to the third option here configure surround and physics and set your physics settings processor to your GPU. Now they're all the settings you need to do inside Nvidia control panel so once you've applied them you can just exit out of that and we'll be moving on to the next optimizations. So what we're going to be doing now is clicking the search icon and searching for game mode settings and inside here you're just going to make sure game mode is turned on and as you can see here it just optimizes your PC by turning things off in the background. Then you're going to click gaming, go to game bar and making sure game bar is turned off. 
You want game bar turned off because if it's running in the background, it's going to use a lot of your CPU processors and you're going to be lagging, having frame drops in game. Once you've done this, just click X and these settings will apply once you've restarted your PC. Now we're going to be changing some graphic settings. So if you right click on the desktop, go to display settings, scroll down until you see graphics. And inside here, you're going to see add an app. You want to add whatever game you're playing. So for me, this is Fortnite and you're going to set this to high performance. If you don't know how to find Fortnite, you're going to click add a desktop app, go to this PC, whatever drive your Fortnite's installed in. So mine's the local disk C, program files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64, and it's the top one here. You just click on that, click add, it'll add it to the list and you can just select high performance here. After you've done that, you're just going to scroll back up to the top, drop down the advanced graphics settings here and turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. This just allows your GPU to be the maximum priority for the game that you're playing. And once you've done this, you can click off and just restart your PC for the changes to be applied. Now we're going to be disabling some unnecessary services inside Windows. So if you open up the task manager, you see there's a lot of services inside here running that we don't need to use and disabling these will just give us extra memory and extra CPU space to go towards our game. So if you just click the search icon and search for services and open this, it'll bring up a page with all the services that are running on your PC here. So the first thing we're gonna be disabling inside here is BitLocker. If you use BitLocker, you don't wanna disable this, but if you don't, then you're just gonna put this to disabled and click apply. And then we're going to be disabling the Bluetooth audio gateway service. If you have wireless headphones, you don't want to disable this. But if you don't, you can disable it. Just click apply and this one will be disabled too. And also the one underneath, the Bluetooth support service, you can disable this one as well. Now, once you've disabled these, you're going to scroll down a little bit until you see the certificate propagation. And you're also going to disable this one. Now, if you click F on your keyboard, and you'll see file history service here. You just want to put this one to disabled and apply that. Then once you've disabled that one, click I on your keyboard until you see IP helper and you want to also disable this one. Once you've done the IP helper, click N on your keyboard until you see net logon and you want to disable this. Now you're going to be coming down to parental controls and making sure this is disabled. And then if you go down a bit more, you'll see print spooler. You can disable this one if you don't print anything from your PC. If you do, then leave this one enabled. Then if you click T on your keyboard until you see TCP slash IP NetBIOS helper, you want this one disabled as well. And the final service we're going to be disabling is the wallet service. So if you come down here, wallet service, just disable this and click apply. Once you've done this, you just need to restart your PC and all those unnecessary services will be disabled. The final thing we're going to be optimizing is our network. So if you click Windows R and type in control, it'll open up the control panel. Click on network and internet, go over to network and sharing center here. Click on ethernet, properties, and it'll bring up this page here. Inside this page, you want to disable everything apart from QoS packet scheduler and internet protocol version 4. Doing this allows all of your network to be prioritized to your IPv4, which is the main one that you need. Once you've done this, click on IPv4. Go to Properties, Advanced, Wins, and Disable NetBIOS over TCP slash IP. Once you've done that, click OK and come back to this page. Now you're going to be clicking back on IPv4, going to Configure, clicking Yes on here, and it will bring up this box here. Click Advanced, and we're going to be changing a lot of the settings inside here. So the first thing we're going to be doing is making sure Efficient Ethernet is turned off. Then we're going to go to Flow Control and turn this off. You're going to go to IPv4, check some offload and disable this. Scroll down, large send offload. You're going to put both of these to disabled. Scroll down until you see speed and duplex. Put this on the max. So it's either 1.0 gigabytes or 2.5 gigabytes. Then the TCP check some offloads. You're going to disable both of these. The UDP check some offloads. You're going to disable these too. Then all these wake on settings, you're just going to disable all of these too. Once you've done that, come over to power management and make sure both of the boxes aren't ticked. Once you've done that, click OK, close out of everything and you can restart your PC for the tweaks to be applied. 
These are all the optimizations finished now guys, so let me know down in the comments how much it helped you. And if you want a one-to-one -one tweaking session, you can join my Discord and I'll go through advanced Windows tweaks, BIOS tweaks, so much more than I go through in these YouTube videos. So if you want that, just join my Discord, make a ticket, and I'll respond instantly. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.